And first at 5 o'clock, 7 is on your side now with the very, very latest efforts to keep you safe in the district. Today, we were there as crews were installing new cameras. It's part of a crime-fighting plan, but is it enough is the question. Our Carl Willis is covering D.C. He's live in Northwest along 9th and U Streets where those cameras were just put up. Hi, Carl. Hey there, Allison. Well, they're not enough on their own, but the police chief and the D.C. mayor say cameras like the one that was installed here today at U and 9th are extremely helpful in closing violent crime cases and the technology. It has come a long way. The promise to deliver 140 new police CCTV cameras to the district on its way to being fulfilled Friday afternoon. Seven on your side was there as one of the cameras with higher memory to hold more video and better technology for clearer video was installed at 9th and U Street. We've all seen grainy, blurry surveillance video in the past, but this clip shows you the quality of video coming from those new cameras. One new tool in the fight against crime. One of the first cameras is going up in the Shaw District. That's because it's one of the areas targeted in the mayor's fall crime initiative. A welcome sight for some who live and work here, like Rudina Ismalai. I was talking to my business partner. Let's do a little bit more protection uh, camera outside here because at night in the evening it does get a little bit rowdy. Mayor Bowser and the MPD police chief tell Seven on your side this is part of a $5 million investment in the expansion of the camera system. The new camera is being added to the 205 cameras already in use. And police say video from cameras like the one that's going in here behind me helps solve 40% of homicide cases in 2018. In fact, the MPD police chief also tells us that detectives were able to get video in 83% of homicide investigations thanks to various cameras around the district. At least it will make the community or us when we leave at night feel safer, that we're protected. And these cameras can also be deterrents to violent crime. You can expect a wider rollout of these cameras come January. Reporting live in Northwest D.C., Carl Willis, ABC 7 News. Carl